Okay, hello and welcome back. And that is right, today I want to talk about user-friendly NAS software and that it's not actually as hard to find as some people might think. In this video, I'm going to give you three great examples of software that you can install on your DIY NAS system and get you and your data securely up and running. Before we go any further, quick disclaimer straight off the bat. This is a video targeted toward users who aren't looking to spend ages and ages and ages learning tons and tons of command lines, spend all their time on a steep old learning curve. I'm of course talking about the true NASes of the world. I think we all can acknowledge that true NAS, when it comes to freely available open source DIY NAS software, true NAS is still one of the best, if not the best, most capable software in the market. But it's not for everyone. It's an incredibly complex platform. And even though TrueNAS scale and things like True Charts have rocked out to make things significantly more user friendly than they have ever been before, that is all still relative to the absolutely hammering complexity that is TrueNAS scale and core. Anyway, this video is for those that are looking to set up a NAS and not have a nosebleed or a migraine within 24 hours of setting the device up. These are all softwares that you're going to have to install on everything from a basic top 10 board to some high powered PC that you're repurposing. I hate seagulls. But let's crack on with number one. So our first one is Casa OS, or to a slightly lesser degree that will make more sense in a bit, Zimmer OS. This is by far the most easy to use NAS software of the three that we're going to talk about today. Now, Casa OS is completely free. It is also one of the quickest loading NAS OS's I've ever seen. It's accessible via the web interface. You can also align uh, remote access via first party domain relays or utilize third party uh, remote access tools to be integrated into it. It runs a uh, BTRFS. It is fast. Um, later generations of it, and of course I'm talking about Zimmer OS that's being designed alongside uh, the Zimmer Cube and Zimmer Cube Pro have also started integrating comprehensive RAID functionality there. Casa OS, on the other hand, has been designed for those tiny little micro boards, Zimmer board and Zimmer blade. Um, it also arrives with an app center there that is effectively containerized applications that are one click install there. Pretty much the entire gamut and control panel of Casa OS and Zimmer OS is visible on a single panel. Some applications for file exploring are installed by default. There are um, also synchronization and backup tools as well as it supports third party tools that can be installed again, one click. And although there is a light amount of command line access that you can utilize over SSH in order to get more out of the software, the baseline Casa OS and Zimmer OS experience you can enjoy completely for free and actually get away with zero knowledge of command line stuff that's only when you start integrating some of those apps and tools which are third party where command line may come into play also the file explorer has an incredibly streamlined integration of cloud services so if you're moving away from your google drive your dropbox or whatever and you still want to utilize some of that free or partially still available space integrating and mounting it and synchronize it is exceedingly easy within casa os and Zim OS, but again, the Zimmer OS software is seemingly being designed primarily for the Zimmer Cube systems, and although you can download it, I don't know how many of the features and functionality of Zimmer OS are going to be binded to that hardware platform, whereas Casa OS is freely available to download both in and outside of their own hardware. Let's be honest, you saw this one coming by a country mile. The most user-friendly yet feature-rich NAS software experience you can get right now for your DIY build is Unraid. Unraid, by a landslide, provides a vast array of tools, uh, performance enhancements, as well as storage enhancements in the form of ZFS support and support of existing uh, their own cal mathematically calculated parity across their storage drives that are just not found in this single platform anywhere else. On top of that, much like when we talked about Casa and Zimmer OS, you can head into their own app center, which is effectively containerized um, repository of apps and services from third parties that you can install on the system in a single click. There's even bundles of tools like the Nerd Tools Pack that allows you in a single click to give you a wide arrangement of tools to make the most of your storage, many of which do not require command line to access. However, it is worth highlighting that 
One, the storage manager in Unraid desperately needs a storage wizard. And that is where I would argue simplicity kind of drops off the radar a bit when you're setting it up because it throws a lot of information at you about choosing your parity disk, knowing it has to be the largest disk, whether you want to use storage pools as ZFS or using the traditional Unraid methodology. After that, it's great, but there's just this blip in the middle with the storage manager that desperately requires uh, a storage wizard there to help people move along. But that aside, the fact that you can run it from a USB bootloaded and loaded from this onto the memory of the system lowers the resource requirements significantly, but moreover means that more powerful systems, you have a greater degree of the hardware resources at your disposal. Also, aside from that comment I mentioned about the storage manager, the rest of the user experience and the user interface of Unraid is very, very clear. The initial splash screen gives you all the hardware information you're going to need and going into the settings and configuration options, everything is laid out in clear, plain speak with plenty of tips, hints and guidance along the way. It's very intuitive in that fashion. Unfortunately, there isn't really a mobile application in the first part you can utilize as a client and this is the only software on the list thus far that has a payment structure behind it. You can get a 30 day trial, but if you've got up to six devices, it's gonna cost you $49 a year. And if you've got more than that, and you want loads of storage devices, it's gonna cost you $109 a year. But bear in mind that is per annum. And although you can continue using your storage array after that, you won't get any of the updates moving forward. There is a lifetime membership option for about $250. But again, that lifetime unlimited devices I would still use a 30 day trial first to work out if Unraid is truly the user friendly now software for you. When it comes to building a NAS system in the most compact fashion, using the most efficient, efficient, low-powered resources possible, you would be hard pushed to beat OMV, Open Media Vault. We don't talk about it a lot here on the channel because we generally find ourselves dealing with very aggressive x86 Intel and AMD powered systems, but a lot of you from Raspberry Pi devices to those that are still using those more powerful systems that want it to be painfully efficient will always give a shout out to Open Media Vault there. Open Media Vault um, can run on ARM, it can run on x86, 64 bit systems. Um, it also has support of BTRFS. There's no ZFS support, I will add there. Um, it is very quick to deploy, very low resource consumption, and if you don't mind missing out on some of the more comprehensive AIA applications in the NAS sphere, and you are just looking for simple SMB storage shares there, running individual containers very, very quickly, and never have to deal with the system while having a very low lecky bill, definitely Open Media Vault is the one for you. And I haven't even touched on, it's free. There are some things you can bolt onto it that require paid bolt ons and they are third party related, but the baseline OMV experience is completely free. And given that you can utilize everything from old mobile phones with storage devices connected to it, all the way through to some even small computer systems maybe bolted onto office hardware and turn those into OMV uh, server systems, it has to be stated that Open Media Vault still maintains a wonderful position there in being the lowest entry point requirements for entering into an ads. It's just a shame that one, the user interface does feel a little dated compared to a lot of modern software and also a lot of the feature set that we see in modern network attached appliances. It's just not present in OMV. Also, I'm sorry to circle back around to it, but you do need a decent amount of command line experience to make the most of OMV. You can use a lot of the baseline apps and services and the ones that you go with the add-ons there via the repository, but configuration of a lot of these are not baked into the GUI for the most part. And that's when command line access over things like SSH are going to be required there. Ultimately, a free, low resource consuming NAS software there, but just keep in mind that although the day one experience has got a low skill level, it steeps up very quickly if you want to expand out an OMV server. And there you go. Those are the three operating systems for NAS that I'd recommend to keep things incredibly user friendly for ease of use, uh, Castle OS, for great feature set Unraid, and for sheer low scale resource requirements, I would go for OMV. But I think we have to talk about the reason I made this video, and that is of course 
HexOS. HexOS, something we've talked about recently on the channel. It is a NAS software in development being uh, developed by two ex Unraid employees. It's going to be powered by true NAS there, and it has been invested in, uh, presumably by lots of parties, but also been invested in by Linus of Linus Tech Tips. Uh, beta should be arriving relatively soon, and it's tr promising, again, we'll have to take them with a pinch of salt, that it's going to be a truly um, easy to use, hassle free, no high scale tech knowledge required NAS operating system. We know nothing of the pricing. We've seen a few screen grabs of a dashboard that could so easily be image mock ups. We don't know enough about it. But I think right now at the time of recording in June 2024, we have to acknowledge that maybe watching this video six months down the line, there potentially might be another player in the field for you to consider. So again, there should be links to everything we know thus far about Hex OS linked in the description below, as well as links to uh, Casa OS, Unraid and OMV below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. There's also links to a full breakdown guide with more comparison charts to everything we've discussed and guides on building the right NAS first time for you and making the most of that budget but apart from that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time